Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you for coming to the channel. We got our first class seat and we're going right up on into the sky because it's celebration time. Yes, it's celebration time. Child. I tell you. <laughs> we worked a hard week this week, then with people. Yes, yeah, it's a celebration time. We done made it over. We done made it over. Monday through Friday. Yes, at 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock, whatever time you get off on Friday. Praise the Lord. It was a hard week for me. I don't know if it was a hard week for y'all, but it was a hard week for me. And I'm like, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Ah, cheers to each and every one of you all who had to get out there from Monday through Friday and make it do what it'll do to make you be able to have food, clothes, shelter. Okay? Food, clothes, shelter, and all the utilities that you need in this world to survive. Okay? That's all I got to say. Bless each and every one of y'all. But you know, cheers to you, cheers to me, cheers to everyone else that's not on the platform tonight. Okay? But cheers to you whenever you get to it. All right? Cheers to you. But, you know, we up here counseling somebody again. Yes, I had to make a part two. I had to make a part two from this mess. Okay, this is your first class couple, Dumb and Dumber. I can't, I, I was trying, somebody told me to call them Okie and Dokie. <laughs> but I'm like, no, they're not Okie and Dokie. They're Dumb and Dumber. And I'm thinking, what in the world did Miss Diane do to Portia in her childhood to make her not think about what a child would want? And Dirty Simon, I guess he didn't have a childhood because he obviously is her absent of what a child really wants. And I'm like, Portia, you had your mom and your dad, and, okay? I know in your book you said your mom worked all the time and didn't give you all the attention you think you needed or wanted or whatever. So you're doing the same shit to your daughter. Do you not recognize what you're doing? Okay. Because that trip the child took to Mexico, Cabo St. Lucas, that was not no child's trip. You and Simon are the pitiful excuses of child raising especially when it comes to the fun time and this helper right here wrote under her caption under her picture she said imagine someone who loves you so much they make you love yourself at simon g okay i ain't gonna pronounce his whole name because it's, it's irrelevant now how can you say that portia you mean a man or some other person got to validate you before you can validate yourself? Miss Gina, get her. Get her because she's going to do something awful to the grandbaby. Okay, she's going to make the grandbaby feel, meaning PJ, she's going to make her feel like she has to be pretty and she has to be perfect for the world to accept her. Because when I read that mess, I said, Port, you need to get in therapy, baby. You need to get in therapy real quick, fast, in a hurry. All right, me, me, Mama Gina tried to tell you about yourself, but you are sick. Let me read this again to y'all. She said, imagine someone who loves you so much, they make you love yourself. So, I ain't got nothing else to say about that because I'm like, get help, Portia. Get help because a man ain't going to find that for you and anybody else ain't going to find it. If you and the Lord can't work it out, you're hopeless, baby. You're just plain hopeless. But get to a therapist as quick as you can. Quick as you can. But I'm like, where was your sister Lauren when y'all was on this little excursion of a birthday party? Where was Lauren? Where was Lauren's mom? Where was Bailey? Okay, where was your mom on this situation of a trip? Okay, because it just looks lack of love and family unity on the picture that I do have coming up. I mean, even PJ didn't look like she wanted to be there. And it was her celebration party. But I'm like, are you and Lauren not on good terms? And what was baby girl Bailey? Bailey? And Miss PJ, since she's been in the world, they've been like freaking frat. You even was hanging around Miss Bailey when you were pregnant with PJ. You see, you see the camaraderie here. They're always together. 
always. So where was Miss Bailey behind running around that yacht? I didn't see any kids. I didn't see any decorations. What the hell were y'all doing? I do know it was a rented thing, but Shamia, your friend wasn't even there, your bestie, but she was at other events, okay? You see, Shia, why was Shia not there at the birthday party? And some people were saying that you were jealous of Shamia and her husband because they got real love going on. They got real love going on. Even in their pictures, it's exude love and respect, okay? She respects what her husband tells her to do. Simon, on the other hand, is not your husband. He's your boyfriend. And he's telling you what to do. And you're doing it. Now, your sister and Shamia, uh, they good enough to party with. But you can't invite them to a, a little people's party. And Fallon, she got kids. Why you invite her? Candy got kids. Remember Blaze and Ace and Shamia with her daughter Shia? What happened? What happened to their invitations? And you know Ace as cute as can be, and Blaze is right up there, and she would enjoy that, that birthday party, lack thereof, birthday party. Yes, Porsche, you need to really think about that. I need you to wear hats more, because at least it looks like your your brain waves are, are working up there. Hell, even Nene had a granddaughter. Well, you didn't invite her. <coughs> her invitation got lost too, Porsche. On this whirlwind trip to Mexico. Girl, girl, even Kenya had baby Bricky. You know Bricky like a baby, sh not a baby shower, but a baby party. Girl, she would have showed up and gave nice presents too. Because Kenya give nice presents. Hell, all of your friends from the Real Housewives of Atlanta give good gifts. What did you do to her, Diane? Why is she acting all off the wall? Given a child and an adult type party for her third birthday. Diane, what did you do to her? What did you do to your own child? And questions have come to play once again. Is she a husband still? Well, it's up in the air. It's however you want to feel like it. What she did. Was it kosher? Not in my book. You know I had to put that in there. Portion on sex that man up allegedly before he even got divorced. All right, visiting the latest house, funking up the latest furniture, eating up all the latest food, and then gonna take her man. Oh, I can't take it. That is too dreadful. Okay, that's why Shamir don't want you around her man because you might get tired of Simon and want you some little young me. Okay, now that's a true, true Liberian. Is he Liberian, Nigerian? What is he, y'all? But he looks true. To his um his upbringing, his heritage, his culture, and Portia didn't even go to her so-called best friend Shamil's wedding. Now I don't know what y'all fell out about, but you should have been there, Portia. You should have been there. All right. Now you're trying to shun her from PJ's third birthday. How shallow can you be? You a bad mommy, Portia. You a bad mommy. Because I'm like, how the hell are you going to mess up a child birthday party? And I think you went to a birthday party. You and Simon or y'all was somewhere where y'all were wearing some little funny little hats on your head. And you look at PJ. Do it look like she having a good time? Only people that look like they having a good time is those two. Dumb and dumber. Okay? Dumb and dumber. They don't even know how to throw a child's birthday party. Now, you see, you got, uh, look at them all. They look all confused. They don't look happy. And that damn little cake. I'm like, uh-uh. Look at Simon. He probably, he need a smoke or something. Or, or he need to take a shit. He look kind of constipated. Only y'all out in that ward. Probably, hell, all of them probably seasick. To tell you the truth. And she got that little one, one little cake up there. Okay? And she got Lauren, her assistant there. And I guess, I don't know. The caregiver, the nanny, I don't know. Because it seemed to me, Lauren is a, her assistant is a, a, a nanny too, pretty much. But yeah, they saying happy birthday and all this kind of shit. I'm like, okay. Where are the decorations, people? Because if you couldn't do all of that, throwing a child's birthday party, which she may remember, she may not, but you have the photos for her to uh, cascade through when she gets a little older. But see, that's Lauren, her assistant. 
And I don't know who the other lady is. I guess she's a a, a nanny or a teacher. I, I don't know who the lady is, okay? But it's just like, there's no decoration, no celebration, no nothing. But you want us, to, you, you want to put all this shit out here like y'all balling. It's like you're balling backwards. It's like you're balling into bankruptcy or something. It look like you want to struggle. Because PJ ain't here and she ain't looking, she ain't looking, they ain't looking happy. They're looking kind of tired. Now we're going to have to roll this footage. This footage that's coming up. To prove my point on Portia was a bad mommy in this act, incident of throwing this birthday party. I ain't going to say she a bad mama altogether. So don't get in the comments and, and, and think I'm judging her. I'm just talk, I'm talking about this birthday party. Okay. Because I've thrown many of birthday parties for my daughter as well as for my nephew. Okay. So I'm like, we know what a party look like. We have Tylenol in our pockets because we know everybody from anywhere are going to be bringing their child, bringing more, going to be playing more than plus ones and plus twos, and the foe going to be out there. But this nut, you see where PJ at? She ain't paying attention to t PJ. PJ on a phone that maybe Portia bought her, or maybe she don't picked up one of the older kids' phones. Who knows? Who who who, who she talking to over there? That's what Portia need to be paying attention to. Why are you going to be so involved in social media, taking selfies, calling yourself doing Amazon on live, and you had to re-kick it, restart it because your reception really bad, and your baby girl in the back looking all pretty as she can be and ain't got nothing to do but playing with a damn phone while you sitting up there calling yourself doing business. Why are you doing business, Portia? You left. Uh, now, we're going to say you left. We're going to say you got fired. We're going to give you one up on that one. Dumb decision, but you left this nation. You left Real Housewives of Atlanta to go with this clown, Dahmer, Mr. Dahmer, and you, Mrs. Dahmer. Or I should say, Miss Dahmer, because he ain't married you. He getting a whole uh, cow. What do you need to buy the milk for? No, he getting a whole milk. Well, he getting the milk for free. So what do you need to buy the cow, cow for? He written a cow. Now, where's all these people? Okay, them are Simon's people. His his boys and stuff. You got uh Bailey there. You got uh Lauren there. You got the assistant of the Lauren. They look like they having a good old time. Hell, everybody at least they smiling. Okay, and they look kind of confused here. I don't know where they were. They probably was in the same place. This other picture, but they were tired looking. See what I'm saying? My Porsche was taking that. See that what I'm saying? I'm uh ugly little hats. Them, this this kind of shit you put on when you at a kids party. Every grown up looking silly, dumb, and 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 got hats on their heads like that, trying to appease their children and allow them to give them that best birthday party that they could possibly want, dreamed of, or whatever. And you got to have some clown up there or somebody that's making them clown hats and stuff that you make out of balloons and everybody got to wear an animal. You know what I'm saying? That's silly shit. And it might be funny to you if you have tips. You know what I'm saying? But we got to do all that stuff and play, play pin the tail on the donkey and shit. You get tired. And you be like, when, when is part supposed to be over with? You let serve these, these little uh, monsters uh, some food and get them tired and give them some old uh, recreation. So they get the hell on out of him. You know, presents and whatever. But nah, not Mr. Smooth Simon. He took his own private jet. It might be rented. Seemed like he should have just went commercial. Because it's not like Portia and Simon are like really big, big people. Like the president and the first lady. Or the queen of Elizabeth. Or Beyonce and Jay-Z. Who else we got that we can name that they probably don't want to be around other people. Um, Y'all know any other people? Well, I just gave y'all the cream of the crop, you know, that I could think of at the top of my head. See, that's pretty, isn't it? That's so inviting. That can get the oldest adult to just come back into their childhood and wish. Wish upon a star. You know that little song they be singing? I don't know what they be singing, but it be sounding so musical. But this nut right here, this bad mama of three. I don't know what she gave uh, PJ for her first and second, okay? Really wasn't into doing videos on her at the time. But I know that Igor right there, he don't have a clue. And he got, what, three, four kids? Don't have a clue. Now, I bet you um, Lauren and her mama did real well uh, with Bailey on her third birthday. I bet you they did. She probably had plenty of birthday parties at P 
people houses and my whole thing is y'all got that big ass house that y'all loving and uh simon calling himself sitting out on the little jacuzzi or mini pool it was why you ain't have nothing over there for the baby girl you could have just had all that stuff dressed in Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy, or any other little person she liked it. But now y'all want to go on the beach. See, y'all selfish. Y'all some selfish MFs. Sorry. And selfish. Y'all don't think about yourself. And see, there, that's a kid thing right there. This is love, emanation. And you can see um, Disney World. In Florida at night, oh, it's enchanting. It's every, you just be like in awe. You be a grown ass, old ass adult, but you be going back to your kid mode, like, ooh, ah. You know, it's just like you lighting up for Christmas. You got all these presents on the tree. You know how that little uh, feeling you get when you just got to open all the presents at one time, just scream, like, oh, I can't believe I was this good. Or I know I was bad, but mom and dad got me my shit anyway. Okay, you know that kind of feeling, you know? And they got even stuff for the adults. They got Space Mountain. You got Universal Studio. Everybody from every age could have had a little something, something. And you see that? That's smiles. That's happiness. That ain't costing nothing. That's priceless. But you're going to sit up there and take somebody to Mexico. Now, don't get on me. I was trying to find some black children, too. But that's the only child I could find at the time. You see how mesmerizing happy she is? That's what magic kingdom do to you that's what disneyland and disney world do to even the adults okay just give you that magical feel you seeing snow white you looking for the seven dwarfs looking at mickey mouse trying to figure out where Minnie mouse said you got dumbo up there trying to figure out what what where his tail at to fly up in the air you got donald duck that's what i'm saying that would have been too magical for PJ. She probably would have been like, oh, ah, she probably taking pictures with them and everything. You couldn't probably pull her out of the pole because she'd be hot. I don't want to go yet. I don't want to go yet. And then she'd just be like, exhausting herself to where she'd be on fell asleep before she even know, know it. Just like Dennis, when he had some at his house for her for her birthday, she fell asleep with what she felt was just the most precious thing, a piece of food. And see, that's what I'm saying. That girl going to grow up and she's going to be like her dad. She's going to love to eat. And, sh and she's going to pride herself of always celebrating with some good food. You know what I'm saying? Cause that girl had that hand wrapped around that people, that pizza. And she she like, oh, I'm going I'm to eat it when I wake up. <laughs> Don't nobody touch it. Don't know that. And she probably start crying when you wanted to take her from her. You were like, hell, it's her day. Let her have it. Okay. And, and, that, and that's what Denny did. He took a cute little picture of her with her slice of pizza. So every day she must love herself some pizza. And I'm like, that's what you get. You get a, you get a little people what they want at this time. Because this is the only time you can dote on your children. Because it's going to be a time when they don't want to be bothered with you. You want what they love, they like, they everything. You know, looking for you to come home from work and all that. They're ready to get on your back and your arms and, and all that. And then when they get in high school and middle school, they're going to act like they don't even know you. <laughs> Be like, who are you? Yeah, I, I don't want to talk to you. I got to call my friend. It's going to be like that. So you should be enjoying these times with PJ. And you see how happy that child look. She's so happy. Both, hell, both of them look happy. They're probably a big brother and little sister. Get up there and ride them teacups. That, that shit made me dizzy. I couldn't take that too long. I had to get off that shit. And I had to sit down for a while because it really, it really spun me around. That's why I don't do roller coasters no more either. But you see the smile of the parents, the smile of the kids, the embraceness of that fun filled amusement park. Okay, it would have tied out leaving the best badass kids. When you go there or Six Flags, you just you, you give them out for hours. They be tired as hell. And that, that asphalt that you be walking on, gee, it be burning your feet. Oh, y'all be stinking and ready to go home. Okay, but it'll be a fun field event. Y'all be gonna capture the moments through feeling it and and, and and living in the moment. Then you got the pictures. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody got cameras these days. Have a little snap snot here and there. But look at that mess. Okay, no decoration, no balloons, nothing on their head looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? That they don't made out of balloons. Somebody ain't made animals and shit. She just got that one little cake. Okay. And then it had fireworks. And they talking about, blow it out, blow it out. I, blow it. I ain't blowing that shit out. I might catch a fire. I can't do that. I'm just three. I want to live to see four. Okay? What is my fireworks? Sparkles on the cake. What, who does that? Okay? Who does that? What parent does that shit? I'm just saying, guys. Dumb and Dumber is Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. But that's got Portia Williams and uh, Simon Gavardi on oh, now. 
I'm like, they didn't have a childhood life. Well, for shit, if they gonna come up on a three year old and give her some kind of birthday party like that, I'm like, what, Mama Gina? Yeah, Mama Gina want to laugh. She want to laugh. She could probably gonna make it up, but she probably did what she had to do. When uh, baby girl was over there with that piece, she probably had the whole house decorated. Probably had the neighbors, kids, and everybody else over there. And um, like I said, I, I just don't know the upbringing of Portia and how her mama got down. I really don't. The only thing I can see that she took over is them hair bows. She always had hair bows in that child's hair. And Portia had it too, so I can see that. But I'm like, where's all the love? Where's all the attention? It's her day. It's three years old. I mean, are you going to do this shit four, five, six, seven, eight? Because she might start telling you, that, Mama, I don't want this. I, w I want this, that, and the third, okay? I don't want what you want. That ain't me. That's you. And that's probably what she's going to have to do one day. Because poor she's going to be, done, you know, trying to grow her up too fast. Trying to make her look too, you know, grown up. Just, you know, just let her be a child. You know, let her make stupid mistakes. Let her say stupid stuff. And you'll be like, oh, you really think that? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Let her... Let you live vicariously through her little world and how she views it and stuff. I mean, girl. But that's all I had for this video, guys. That irked the hell out of me again when I had saw her posting something up. And then I saw that little naked table. And um, fireworks coming out the girl, uh, Kate. And then talking about blow it out. Ah, oh, you don't bless nasty. You don't blow out nothing. We don't blow nothing, okay? We said, okay, we're going to take the candle and give you the candle. And we want you to blow it out. But we don't want no germs on no cake. Because somebody might be sick. And we might like that cake that we bought for the young person that's celebrating her birthday. And we don't want all them germs. We ain't got time to get sick. We got to go out there and make it do what we got to make it do. We got to work, okay? So we don't want nobody's germs, okay? Them kids, they be having germs off the wazooka because they touching everything. They kissing on each other. They kiss, kissing on their skin. They rubbing up their nose and up their ass and then want to come play with you. Like, no, you nasty. Go go clean yourself up for a minute, okay? Well, mostly time, parents be like taking it all in. Yeah, come on, baby. Give me the kids. And they be taking it for the child, you know? Because children don't know no better. You know, we try to teach them to know better, but they don't. They, they still do what they want to do, okay? But we cancel. They're canceled on my channel. And I'll, I'll probably still cancel them until they do better. Now, like I said, one of them should have more sense than the other one. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be blind. Blind can't believe in the blind. And that's what we got here. Dumb and dumber. Like, not him. These are children. Even Simon's kids are children. Let them be children. Because it's going to come a day when they're going to have to put on their big girl panties and their big boy drawers. And they're going to have to pay to play in this world. I mean, they're going to have to survive and have their money streams to have food, shelter, and clothing. And then they might have to have a little one. And they have to do this whole cycle over again. So it's plenty of time to be an adult and to do adult things. Let children just be free. That they let them learn their environment without any, you know, assistance from the adults. Making sure everything is kosher as far as safety wise now. But I'm talking about just experiencing everything. And she just making her, I mean, push the treat her like she a doll or something. I'm like, girl. Woo, child. It's just a hot mess, a hot mess. But if y'all like the love, we gotta have more. Y'all get down in those comments like y'all always do. Okay, put your comments down there. You know I like to hear them. And I do read each and every one of them, okay? And uh, let me know what y'all think about Portia telling Simon she glad he loved her because uh, she can't love herself. What kind of bullshit is that? I don't understand. That look like therapy. That sound like therapy. Because I'm like, first of all, you should love yourself because God woke you up this morning. Because you could have been pushing up days at six feet under. Okay? That's the hallelujah praise right there. Now, self-love comes into you wear all this makeup. You wear all these clothes. You get your body imaged out, sucked out, tucked out, and you're still not happy. You want somebody else to validate you that you're this, that, and the third before you to believe it for yourself. That's piss poor. That is piss poor reasoning and logicking, logically thinking. And I don't know who did it, who hurt you, because you still can't pull up. You can't pull up. And you, you dog Miss Gina out so bad. I wouldn't want to touch you with a 10-foot pole either. But I'm like, bring me my grandchild. Bring me my grandchild. And she better not be hurt in any which way fashion. Because grandparents got rights in Georgia. 
in Atlanta, Georgia, yes, they do. They got rights, all right? So Portia better be towing her, she better be, what call it, tow her roll or hold her toe. So, shit, I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Tow her roll. Y'all, y'all straighten out for me. Y'all good at doing that for me. But, uh, yeah, she better, <laughs> she think that's just her child. Sure. Then it's going to get her a wake-up call. And Miss Gina, with her grandparenting skills, might get her a wake-up call. She forgets she has another family. Okay? So, it is what it is. We do what we do. And we'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.